bully. What is bully? You hear it used all the time. The word bully, the word bullying, you hear examples of it all the time. But what is bully? A bully is one who uses superior strength or influence to intimidate someone, typically to force him or her to do what one wants. Synonyms are per persecute, oppress, tyrannize, browbeat, harass, torment, intimidate, strong arm, dominate, etc. Every week on this light in life we choose a theme. This week's theme? Maybe it hurts worse than you think. We start out with the story of a girl. Her name is Hannah Johnson. She's disabled. She's had people bully her in the past, but maybe not for the reason you think. Let's see what she has to say. So, have you ever been bullied before? I have. It was like in, I think it was fifth grade or something. I was the only girl that was playing drums in band since I couldn't play any other instrument. And I got like teased and bullied about that a lot. And it made me really mad that the teacher didn't do anything about it. And like, I went, to, I finally just told my mom and she told the principal and we had a talk, but then the person never bullied me again, but it really bothered me. And like, they would always say like, how can you play the drums? Because I have short arms. I'm like, you're the only girl, and this is for guys. What do you think about bullying in general? I don't like it. I mean, I don't get why people bully people. Why do that? It hurts them really bad. Like, it's stupid. Do you think a lot of times, like, just what's meant to be, like, teasing and just for fun can hurt a lot more yeah. than what it's meant to be? It can. Our next story comes from Adrian Rand, who has never been ganged up on by a group of boys in the locker room or called names in the hallway, but bullied in a different way than that you might not think of when you first hear the word. Let's hear what his story is. Well, I like to say that I have, but my situation is a little different than a lot of other people. Um, I can't exactly name any occasions where I've been openly Really openly beaten up or insulted or called out or anything like that. <clears throat> but throughout a lot of my school life, I was a total outcast. Um, and in that sense, I feel like I was really bullied because people just completely alienated me to the best of their abilities. And I went through elementary middle school without any any friends that play. What do you mean by alien? <laughs> well, the one phrase I always grew up on, like I said in elementary middle school, was, you're weird. Because that's what people always said. They said, oh, you're weird. And, you know, I, I kind of, I took it to heart, and, for a while I embraced it, but at the same time I noticed that while I tried to be okay with being the only am, at the same time it meant that nobody wanted to be friends with me, nobody wanted to talk to me, everybody thought, oh, that's the weird kid, stay away from him. Probably, especially since, uh, at the time, I kind of would react like it really did. You know, I would, I'd, uh, whenever somebody said to me, Hey, you're weird, I'd say, Oh, well, thank you very much. And then I'd always take it in stride, but, uh, it doesn't really occur to you until a while later that it really does a lot to you know, for people to call you strange or out there or just not. To be defining you as something that's not acceptable by society. What do you think about bullying? I think a lot of things about bullying. And I think 
it's sick. I think it's wrong. I think that it's a means of... In a lot of aspects, it's a means of coping. That's a very destructive way of doing it. It hurts other people. You exploit others for your own gain in some ways. Overall, not only do I just have a lot of anger towards people who bully others, I feel sorry for them. But not sorry enough to not kind of hate them. Is there anything you want to say to other kids that are bullied before we end it? Talk to people about it. Chances are you probably aren't the only one. And it doesn't always stay like that. I'm not really sure how you can ever get it to stop, but a great way to start is to let other people know that something is going on and have other people in a circle of friends, we call it, to really support you. Tell a story comes from Janine Frizzy, who has never really been bullied herself, but has witnessed bullying before. Let's hear what her story is. And um, there was one time I remember when I was in elementary school, I think I was in like fourth or fifth grade, and actually no I was in middle school and I was walking home and <clears throat> there was a little boy he must have been in like third grade and some other boys were picking on him and um, <laughs> I think I scared the crap out of him because <laughs> I started yelling at the boys that were bullying and um, I came running up and I was just like I don't know why but I was like who the hell do you guys think you are? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, just kind of pretty much read him the riot act and like, you know, said, I'll tell you what, if I ever catch you doing that again, I'll beat the hell out of you and let you know how it feels because it's really uncool. And this little kid didn't know where I came from. He didn't know me from Adam. And <laughs> he was just like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so... I, uh, I didn't, you know what, I've never really had tolerance for it when I was a kid. I hated seeing other kids get picked on, and I stood up for the kids that got picked on all the time. So next time you think about teasing somebody, even if it's not meant to be harmful, just a joke to your friend, think about it. It might hurt worse than you think. Decide to kill with this light and light. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.